Georgians are voting in the hotly contested runoff race for the U.S. Senate. Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger Herschel Walker are on the ballot. 41 NBC's Brick Nelson shows us how voters in middle Georgia are making sure their voices are heard. My voice definitely mattered and my voice was heard. Residents across the Macon Bibb County area rushed to the polls Tuesday morning to cast their vote for the 2022 runoff election. Mercer student Kalinda Simmons came back home from Athens to do her part and cast her vote. It's really important for everyone to get their voice out. Um, the, I feel like the, post, uh, the calling team has done a great job of getting everyone out, calling, making sure everyone is aware of the vote and, and their locations. And so it's important that all of us have our voice out. Um, either party, it's just important that we get it out. Interim Macon Bibb election supervisor Thomas Gillen says lines and polls have been slow and steady for most polling locations. He says the multiple locations help with getting voters processed more efficiently. We at most would have three locations for early voting. We have 31 locations for uh, election day. So there's a lot more places to take care of the voters. Gillen says although there are multiple locations, you have to go to your assigned precinct based on where you live. In Macon, Brick Nelson, 41 ABC News. Again, voting places remain open until 7 tonight, and if you are in line by 7 p.m., you can stay in line to cast your vote. Well, in addition to the Senate race, we are also watching two other special election runoffs tonight. In Macon, Lindsay Holiday is facing Desmond Brown for a seat on the Macon Water Authority Board. And in Milledgeville, Shonda Mapp is facing Oscar Davis. They are hoping to fill the city council seat following the death of Richard Mullins in April. We'll have election results tonight on 41 NBC News at 11 and throughout the night on 41NBC.com and on the 41NBC News app.